What up, Fuse? This is Chris Calico. It's a strange land. Welcome to Kansas City. Let me show you where I'm from. We started all this in Travis's basement, man. Now three buildings at 25,000 plus feet a piece. Strange music, man. The number one independent music label in the world, man. You know. The headquarters, man. It's like this album like really kind of defined what I was doing, what I was trying to do in music. This is my second album, Genius. It's, and this dude's crazy. This was a film moment too. Me and Tech Nine wrote this song called Caribou Lou about uh, the drink, man. 151 out of the Roman Pineapple, just a drink that him and his boys came up with years ago. We got a gold record from it. And this was never on TV, it's never on the radio, nothing, just from us doing shows, man, you know. This is where all the burgers are right here. All of these merch, man, you know. We got girl stuff, kids. Uh, just everything, man. Like this whole shelf is just all mine. I'm oh, going back to Cali. That's right. I'm going back to Cali, man. It's just I gotta fold this back up. Found some get cussed out. Now we got newly signed artists, Darian. He's sitting there signing all of his things. Like if y'all don't think we we really have to sit here and sign all of our pre-orders and everything. Nobody's doing it for the art. We really have to sit here no and sign all of it. Yeah. No stamps we really out here. Sit here and sign. <laughs> They'll make you sit here and sign every pre-order. Oh, you got you got that right there? Does that feel God. good? Man, Jesus Christ, you yeah. bitch. <laughs> About to run around this warehouse. I know, huh? We're gonna go to my uh, my elementary school, bro. And, and, and the reason why we have to go there is because this is the first stage I ever performed on. I was performing like a Lionel Richie song, dude. Like, Hello, is it me you're uh, looking for? I, I was trying to turn it out then, but then in high school, you know, I've always been a, uh, always been a big dude, man. But I always danced, I always sang, I always rapped, I always, uh, I felt like I was always supposed to be an entertainer. My son, he goes to that elementary school that I, I came from, but I try to encourage him to be in school and, and, and you know make good grades. What I felt even back then, like, I'm not gonna need any of this. Like, I need to know words, I need English because I'm gonna do something, I need to, I need to know the basic things, but I always felt like I'm not gonna need any of that and I'm still gonna be hugely successful. Like, I, knew I, was, I knew I was gonna be at this point and even bigger than the point that I'm at, I knew. Mr. Shannon, he's the principal of school. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Yeah. We're gonna check the gym out. It looked a lot bigger when I was in the fourth grade. This is the first stage, man, that I ever, ever performed on in my life. So I was this age right here, man. This is my son, he goes to this school, man. This is Christopher. He's in the fourth grade. He's actually the exact age I was when I first hit this stage right here. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> All right, I don't want to keep you out of class. And I was in the fourth grade. By that time right there, when I was standing behind that curtain before it opened up, I was shaking in my boots, man. I was shaking. And I think I just probably stood right here and never moved from this spot right here. Sometimes when I walk onto the stage, whether I'm by myself or whether, whether I'm with tech, when I walk onto the stage, I, I immediately am drawn back to that moment when I was standing right here, man, as a kid, man. So this is like crazy nostalgia for me, man. Yeah. 